Reporting live from The Gardener for Baycrest Bike for Brain Health fundraiser. It's live from last week, episode 76. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow G Walkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So at this moment, I'm just at the Scarborough GO Train station, about to take the GO Train downtown. Because as you can see, I'm wearing my Blue Jays jersey and about to watch a game with one of my coworker friends, Allison. So we're gonna hop on this train behind me and make our way right now to downtown Toronto. And now that I'm here in downtown Toronto, I actually have a couple of stories that I wanted to let you guys know about before we get into the game. So earlier today, I found myself at the Young Street and 401 area at a park called Avondale Park, where I spent this afternoon editing live from last week footage while on my laptop at said park. And why was I there, you ask? It's because the wife, with this before video of her nails, had an appointment to get her nails done in the area. And after she was done her nail appointment, you guys can see how amazing her nails looked after her appointment was finished. But on to the game today, where I'm remembering exactly two weeks ago to this date, I was here at the Dome doing my 9 hot dog for 9 inning challenge because the Blue Jays had a promotion of Looney hot dogs. And if you guys didn't know, today is also a promotion of Looney hot dog day. So yeah, it being the last day of May, I'm gonna make use of my last ticket for that May ticket package that I got last month. And at this moment, head inside the dome to catch the White Sox face the Blue Jays. We got Looney dogs with Allison, my beer, and unlimited popcorn. <laughs> Let's go Jays! Where am I? Enough, Let's go Blue Jays! So after eating not just one, not two, cheers. Yeah, thank you. Not three, not four, not five, but six hot dogs. Getting not just one beer, not two beers, not three beers, but four beers. Refilling my refillable popcorn bucket and getting this refillable cup that I can refill anytime that I go back to the stadium, plus a big Blue Jays win. I'm headed back to Scarborough. And now that I'm back in Scarborough, before we wrap it up for the night, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting out with one of my nephews who I first saw in the Philippines back when he was like four years old. Anyways, this birthday greeting goes out to you, John Adrian. Happy birthday, John Adrian. Next, we have a birthday greeting to one of my old BVG co-workers. And this birthday greeting goes out to you, Cindy. Happy birthday, Cindy. The third birthday shout out of the day goes out to one of my old FCAR friends, who I randomly ran into at Scarborough Town Center a few years back. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jocelyn. Happy birthday, Jocelyn. And last but not least, I got a birthday greeting to a family friend, who's a pretty talented baller and a cyclist on his free time. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Jingoy. Happy birthday, Jingoy. I'm hoping that all my friends and family out there that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And now it's time to get picked up by my Uber driver, the wife. <laughs> Uber driving with the wife. So with today being June 1st, I wanted to greet you guys and say welcome to the month of June. Happy June, guys. But for me so far, I had an interesting start of the month. So you see, because I had all that junk food yesterday, including getting a freebie of a bag of Takis that people were handing out, I woke up hella early this morning around 6.30 after an insufficient amount of sleep because I was just so thirsty. I mean like the fact that it woke me up in the middle of my sleep and having me pour out a big glass of water to chug down because I was just so damn thirsty from the fact that I took in all that sodium and beers yesterday. 
But if you're wondering the real reason why I went on a junk food shopping spree yesterday, because my cousin Faye challenged me that if I went to the Jay's shop at the Rogers Center and bought a gift card for myself, putting any amount of money on it, she told me that the next time we meet up, she would pay for every single item of food and drink on that gift card. So that's the reason why I went nuts last night. But yeah, with me feeling so dehydrated today and feeling kind of guilty taking in all that junk food and beer, I got on the stationary bike for a quick one hour workout, patting my beer belly and regretting all the stuff that I ate and drank, then headed to the car because if you guys can recall from last week, when I got my winter tires changed over from the Mini, I had to take these winter tires out of the Mini and put them back in the storage locker. But as you can tell, the storage locker once again was pretty full. So, just like I did last week, I started emptying our locker and put back my winter tires where they belonged and was eventually able to put all the items back and lock up my locker. But anyways, I'm off for my first of my three night shifts tonight. And before I go to work, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First, a birthday shout out to a beach volleyball friend of mine who posts funny memes on Facebook and always makes me laugh whenever I see her. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Sonia. Happy birthday, Sonia. Next up, I got a birthday shout out to an elementary school friend of mine, of whom I'm still pretty jealous of because he got a birthday greeting from the one and only Matt Hardy last year. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Brian. Happy birthday, Jamaica. Next on the list is a birthday shout out to an indoor volleyball friend of mine, of whom I'm very appreciative of because he helps bring up the volleyball community and organizes indoor volleyball on his spare time. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Errol. Happy birthday, Errol. And last but not least, I got a birthday shout out to one of the most ever loving and youthful mothers out there, with whom I spent their birthday with at the Portly Piper in Oshawa last week and who I'm hoping that with my dad are having a great time on vacation in Cuba right now. This birthday shout out goes out to my mom. Happy birthday, mom. I'm hoping that all my friends and family out there that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So today being Thursday, June the 2nd, it's a date on my calendar that I've circled for a long time. Basically, if you guys didn't know, today is the day of the Ontario Provincial Election, where the wife and I, just like many Ontarians out there, took our voters card and went to one of the local polling stations to cast our vote. And we're hoping that our vote will bring out some different change, because the Ontario government right now is just not working hard enough for us. So tomorrow, I'm hoping that I'll have some results and reactions for you guys on how this year's 2022 Ontario election went. Afterwards, the wife and I went back to the condo where she pointed out to me that her Art Gallery of Ontario membership that we got last year and expired in 2021 and because of the pandemic closures over the past couple of years had actually extended their expiration date. So this afternoon, I got a new AGO annual pass and I'm hoping that sometime in the future, I'll be able to take you guys with me to the AGO. But anyways, before I go in for my second of my third night shifts tonight, I decided to go on the stationary bike for a quick 30 minute workout while watching the Blue Jays in the background. So for now, before I go in for my shift, I'm just gonna wrap up my bike session and I'll catch you guys again tomorrow. So guys, guess what happened in yesterday's provincial election? Ontario has voted and has elected that there will be a second consecutive majority government of the Progressive Conservatives. So, sarcastically, I have to say that I'm looking forward to more buck beers and pay cuts to nursing slash healthcare slash education in the near future. But moving on to some better news, this morning from downtown, I picked up the wife with the pleasant surprise that the sister-in-law was there accompanying her and I treated them out to one of our favorite local restaurants that I featured in last week's episode. The glorious place near Midden and Eglinton called T-Bones. Where I got them some breakfast takeout in the form of a 16 ounce ribeye steak, a 16 ounce New York strip sirloin steak, along with some bacon and eggs and hash browns. And well, after getting barely three hours of sleep post night shift today, before I go in for my third of my three night shifts tonight, 
I have a quick birthday greeting to one of my American friends that I met in World Youth Day in Europe in 2011. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Alicia. Happy birthday and feliz cumpleaños. I'm hoping that you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Say hi to Tito for me and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Let me clue you guys into just how long and busy my day was today. First of all, it started off at work during my night shift with a surprise visit from somebody that I haven't seen in a long time. Yo, guess who I ran into? Oh, he's in the frame. <laughs> Yo, guess who I ran into? Yo. <laughs> this is the original, I'm just the copy. <laughs> Yo, one of my groomsmen at work. Seen him for the first time in what? Since the wedding? Oh my god, in person, yeah. Seen him for the first time since the wedding. <laughs> I see your car more often than I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, PK. Take care, man. Till next time. Till next time. One love, bro. <laughs> man, it was great catching up with you then, PK. But I'm just foreshadowing here. I got a quick little throwback to you in a few moments. Anyways, after I did my post-shift commute with Rouge, Foreshadowing once again here, but I said a quick goodbye to my stove in the kitchen, took a short shower, then headed to the closest McDonald's to pick up some quick breakfast for my commute to wherever I was going to today. But unfortunately, I think we were a little bit late, because in this scene, we were chasing the GO train while we were still in our car. Just kidding, the sister-in-law and I got to Scarborough Station just in time for our actual train. And going back to that throwback memory that I was mentioning a couple of moments ago, where I would post night shift enjoy my post night shift McDonald's, my blessed hotcakes, and my delicious hash browns. But yeah, this groomsman of mine and I would catch up about life post night shift over some post night shift McDonald's. Which man, it's been a long time since we've done that, and I truly miss those memories. This segment is a post night shift shout out for post night shift breakfast to you, PK. But moving on, the sister in law and I traveled all the way to the Burlington GO station today to meet up and be picked up by the parentals in laws to make our way to Hamilton to a local formal wear shop called Stitch for Fit to be fitted for a brand new suit for the wedding of my brother in law coming up this summer. Which, speaking on the earlier theme of groomsmen, the brother-in-law, Josh, actually asked me a couple weeks back to be part of the team and be one of his groomsmen. And after, of course, saying yes, we continued on with our appointment at this place at Stitch for Fit, where I was able to take a before wearing the suit video and an after video of how I looked with the groomsmen suit on. But yeah, after I got my suit sorted out and paid off, we headed to Saga so that I can finally take my post night shift nap at 1.30 in the afternoon. Where I actually woke up a couple of hours later thinking that I had a dream where my Ate Shah and my nephew Jared came and visited Saga and were about to leave the house to go to Saturday evening mass. The only thing was when I got up and out of the bedroom they were nowhere to be found. But in reality, when I told the sister-in-law about my dream, she confirmed that they actually had visited Saga and I just missed seeing them. But yeah, since it was actually time to go to Saturday evening mass, I decided to make my way walking to the local St. Martin of Tours church, which I actually usually go to whenever I'm in the area. The only thing is, after mass, I was feeling quite fatigued. Not sleeping well today, as well as over the past couple of nights when I had my night shifts. And I'm thinking that it had all finally caught up to me. So I decided to make my way to the closest ghost station, walking through the local schoolyard, as well as a local forest trail in the area, just to make it in time to catch my bus. And while making our way downtown, we passed by the area of square one and the former Palladium area where I used to hit baseballs in the batting cages. Anyways, while being stuck in traffic on the GO bus, I decided to take my laptop out and make use of my time by working on some live from last week footage. And after a while, once we made it to the new Union Station bus terminal, arriving just as my train that I was supposed to catch left the train station, and after almost one hour of other train delays, I finally caught my GO train to Scarborough and edited even more live from last week footage while I was on my commute. 
And even when I got home, I still had to clean out my locker and get the triathlon bike out as I'm planning to use it for some training sessions in the near future. And finally, once I got to the condo, recalling this scene from a previous Live From Last Week episode, we got on our phone and purchased a new stove online. Okay, purchasing it now in store. <laughs> I had a surprise waiting for me in the kitchen. Our brand new oven slash stove slash air fryer kitchen appliance. And as much as I'm excited to use this baby in the near future, it's almost midnight and I gotta prioritize catching up on some sleep. So it's time to finally go to bed and I'll see y'all again tomorrow. So on this beautiful Sunday morning, only getting just over four hours of sleep and waking up just before 6 a.m. to let you guys know the real reason why I was busy in the locker last night is because during my long commute home yesterday evening, I got bored and I saw an ad for the Bike for Brain Health race in collaboration with the Baycrest Hospital and decided to sign up for it. So now, here I am, ready to take the train to the exhibition grounds for that race. All right, now that we're at the exhibition, I fundraised my minimum 100 bucks for this race. And now, in dedication for all my cyclists out there, this one's a shout out to you, Andoy. It's time to get out on the course. So after a two and a half hour, 50 kilometer bike ride, I'm feeling pretty tired and I'm thinking I'm gonna go back home to catch up on some sleep because I'm gonna be right here on the exhibition grounds again later on this evening. So I'm gonna go take the GO train and like I said, catch up on some sleep. Come on, who are we kidding guys? So actually, when I got home, I woke up the wife from her sleep and took the mini to drive her here to Greek town for her first Pilates class at a place called Motive Fitness and Pilates, where I'm gonna wait for her in the mini editing some live from last week footage. And then, maybe then, I can go home and get some sleep. But before I do that, I had a friendly encounter with a fellow rider on the GO train. All right, so after taking the GO train earlier today, I ran into this guy, our buddy Ryan who took the GO train with me and also hit up the event that we were riding in. What did you think about this event, man? It was pretty cool. I liked, uh, I liked the vibe. I liked how, you know, everyone was just flowing, doing their own thing. And the best part was we were on the DDP, so you get all the sights and sounds. You get to see the CN Tower, ride through the core and everything like that. All right, would you do it again? A hundred thousand percent. I'll do it every year as long as I can ride for. Anyways, it was nice meeting you, Ryan. Thank you. Take care and maybe I'll see you at the event next year again, man. Take it easy. Sick. So Ryan, it was nice meeting you earlier today and I'm hoping to see you riding in another bicycle event sometime in the near future. And literally after taking the exact same train 12 hours ago, we are now headed back to the exhibition grounds to watch a concert at the Budweiser stage. But before we go in, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. The first one going to one of my classmates back at Ryerson, who I graduated with back in 2009. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Miriam. Happy birthday, Miriam. The next birthday shout out goes out to one of my Michigan friends who visited us here in Toronto a couple years back when there was a NABA tournament going on in North York. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Brit. Happy birthday, Brittany. 
I'm hoping that all my friends out there that has their birthday today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So now, let's go make our way to the venue and go catch the Halsey concert here at the Budweiser stage. So, as you guys can tell from that music video, the concert from last night was pretty happening. Plus, in addition to other things that happened during the event, which unfortunately for you guys are stories that will have to wait for another day. But anyhow, on to the present time, where we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with a birthday shout out to one of our family friends, of whom is a Filipino dance performer, and whenever we see her, we go, K, 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 K. And if you couldn't tell already, this birthday shout out is to you, K. Happy birthday, K. Next up, a birthday shout out to one of our close friends, a travel buddy of ours who is currently studying in Scotland right now and who I can't wait to share a drink with when she comes back to Canada. This birthday shout out goes out to you, G. Happy birthday, G. Plus, we've got one more in person birthday shout out. I'm back here at Highland Memorial Gardens after using the instructions that I had in a previous live from last week episode. All right, Jay, for future reference, it's where this bush is and 180 degrees is just to the right of this tree. That tree is to 90 degrees of here. That tree over there is 90 degrees of here. To do a quick in-person birthday greeting. Hey, Tita, just wanted to wish you a happy birthday today. Remembering the time that I dug through two feet of snow just to get to you guys? Anyways, Tita, here's a couple of candles that I'm lighting up for you that you can blow out for your birthday. And also wanted to show off to you a medal that I got from a bike race that I had yesterday. But yeah, anyways, Tita, before it starts raining and before going for my night shift, just want to let you know that we're still thinking about you. Keep praying for us and know that we miss you, Tita. Happy birthday. And yeah, to all my friends and family that are celebrating their birthdays today, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Anyways, by the look of the clouds, it's starting to rain, and it's also time for me to go in for my one random night shift tonight and wrap up this week's episode. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.